Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we have another cozy game review. Today's game is Lemon Cake. It just dropped on the Nintendo Switch today for $29.99. We're going to talk about pricing and my, my full thoughts of this game. Now this game has been out for about a year over on Steam, so if it looks familiar, that is why, but it is brand new to the Nintendo Switch. So with all that out of the way, let's get to the review. If you did not know, Lemon Cake is a bakery simulation game which is right up my alley. Being a former pastry chef, I feel right at home. And the premise of this game is actually really cute. You stumble into an abandoned bakery and you meet a ghost in the kitchen. Uh, you later find out that the, the ghost is a previous owner of the bakery and they yearn to bake once again. So you being the amazing person that you are, take over the bakery and promise them to return it to its former glory. I absolutely love the premise of this and the ghost actually, it's a nice transition between the ghost like teaching you things and introducing you to new mechanics. Uh, but I like how they were the former owner. It's both sad and adorable at the same time. So when you start off, you can actually make your own character. Although the choices of the character creation are quite limited. You can change, you know, basic things like hairstyles and if you have eyelashes or not, and what clothes you wear initially. You can unlock more clothes in the game, uh, including hats and aprons and things like that, but the initial character creation um, is limited, but it has everything you need. You know, it has a ton of hairstyles, ton of skin colors, things like that. They're, they don't prompt you on like what gender you are, so it's very like gender neutral, uh, which I kind of liked. So the gameplay loop of this game is pretty simple. So you wake up every single day, and you open your bakery and you go through three different dinner services. So you go through the breakfast service, the lunch service, and the, di the evening dinner service. They call it evening, but it's basically a dinner service. And through that service, you have customers that continue to walk into your bakery. Some will sit down and you have to take their order. And some will just grab whatever pastry you have on the display counter. So that's the gameplay loop. You go through three different dinner services, customers constantly coming into your bakery, and it is up to you to make the food and make the customers happy. It sounds super simple, but it gets very, very involved. The game is also broken into several rooms. So the first room is your bakery floor where customers will come in, they will sit down, you have to take their order. Uh, you can also display your pastries in that room, but that is basically the customer dining room. And then there's a second room where it's actually your kitchen. So this is where you do all the baking, all the mixing, things like that. And then the third room is actually really cool. It's a greenhouse. So this is where you will find different plants uh, and different trees that will give you like strawberries or cocoa beans. So with those three rooms, you start off with one oven, you start out with a mixing bowl and you start out with some ingredients that are there. And from there on, the game continues to grow and continues to throw things at you. Now, I know you might be thinking, Pat, this doesn't sound relaxing or cozy at all. And honestly, it's kind of hard to explain. I feel like this game is super cozy, but it is a little bit stressful. I got to I gotta admit, it is a little bit stressful, but it's a good kind of stressful because you're always doing things. Like if you're, if you're just standing still in this game, you're doing it wrong. Uh, there's always something to do. Uh, for example, like when you're mixing the dough for the bread, you place it in the oven. Now you could just stand in front of the oven and wait for the bread to come out, but no, you have a bunch of other things. You have to mop up things. You have to take orders from customers. You have to go in the back and water your trees. There's always something happening. It is cozy, but it's like cozy chaos, which I actually don't mind. So yes, you will have to manage if your food is burning, you have to manage your kitchen because after you make uh, a few recipes, like there will be a mess in your kitchen. And if you don't clean it up, you go slower through the mess, like as you're walking in your kitchen. So there's actually a lot of side work that you have to do and you have to balance taking the customer's orders and keeping your displays open in the dining room. Because if you don't have any pastries out there, you're not gonna make money. And money is a very, very important part of this game. At the end of the night, your little ghost friend will basically give you a review of how you did how many things you burnt, how many customers you served, things like that. It's a, it's a nice kind of rundown of, of the day and, and ways that you can pretty much improve. Now, I said money. Money is super important. So once you collect all of your money, then it is up to you to upgrade your character. Now, there is a skill tree that comes up at the end. 
uh, and it's broken into four different sections. So there is a store section, a kitchen section, greenhouse section, and bedroom section. And basically what you do is you use your money to unlock little upgrades. Now these upgrades could be major things, but they could also be small things as well. So for example, uh, one of the upgrades is to unlock another oven. So you can actually use a second oven, which by the way, if you get this game, please unlock the second oven. You can unlock a third oven. You can unlock more chairs to put in your dining room. You can unlock farm animals. You can unlock little pets that come in and uh, you know, hang out in your bakery. And there's also cosmetic things too. So there is another room, which I didn't really go into detail about. And that is your bedroom, your little starting area. And you can actually unlock cosmetics to make your bedroom like, you know, pretty cute. I, I would say that's like a later game thing, uh, but you definitely want to use all of your money to upgrade your character. You can like unlock things like going faster. You can unlock like an assistant in your bakery. Definitely save your money for things that are going to help you out and, you know, give you an advantage because service gets pretty crazy. I found myself really enjoying the gameplay loop of this. And as dinner services came and went, I actually found myself using my real life baking and pastry skills that I learned way back in college uh, to help me better, you know, better perform in this game. So, for example, you don't have to open your bakery right away. You can actually bake off a few loaves of bread and put them out in your display. You can water your crops. You can, there's actually some pre-opening work that you can do. And that kind of reminded me of some of my old chef jobs, which is pretty cool. Also the breakfast service, you have a lot of customers coming in, but the lunch service, they actually call it a lunch rush. So you gotta have that in the back of your mind. Like you have to do a lot in the morning to have all these pastries come out during the lunch service. And then at the end of the night, you can't make too much stuff because if you waste things, you're wasting money. So there's a lot of strategy in this game, which I really enjoyed. So with all that said, I'm really positive on this game. The performance on the Nintendo Switch is really good. I didn't experience any issues or slowdown or anything like that. Now here's the main problem for me and probably the problem for you as well. And that is the price of this game. This game retails for $29.99, which I do think is on the higher end of this game. Not taking anything away from this game and, and what it is, because what it is is fantastic and I definitely recommend it. But $29.99 definitely seems like a bit too steep for this game. So this would be a game that I would recommend putting on your wish list and waiting for a sale. But if you do like these chaotic bakery life sims, sort of like the old school Diner Dash games, I would definitely recommend it. So there you go. That is my review for Lemon Cake on the Nintendo Switch. Again, I, I can't I can't stress enough how much fun I've been having with this and actually the amount of strategy and things like that. And I didn't even go into detail about really creating a lot of the recipes. You know, some recipes will have you going to the back room to get fruit. Other recipes, you know, you'll just use flour, but it bakes quicker. There's a lot of elements going on in this that I think this review isn't doing enough justice for. So if you like these strategy simulation games, yeah, Lemon Cake, this is a good one. Definitely put it on your wish list. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, everyone.